Hello and salutations! My name is John Johnson and welcome to another episode of Paper Mario. In the last episode, we left the Cooper Brothers Fortress on our way back to Toad Town, fought Junior Troopa one more time, and then when we got back to Toad Town, went to the sewers and fought a piece of calamari. Yeah, that happened. Afterwards, we made our way to the train station and came to the next area of the game, Mount Rugged, which you're in right now, and we will be continuing through this episode. As you can see, <laughs> that was a weird intro, I don't know. As you can see, we have a uh, new block here. It is a different color, we've never seen it before. We can't do anything about it, no matter how hard we try. Boom! Nope, nothing. As you see, it can, it shins, sh it sends shivers down Mario's spine. Mm. Alright, first thing to do, we're gonna heal up real quick. And... Ah, no! Confound it! Where could it be? Who's that? Dude, dude, look out where you're going. Dude, I am Mario. I am a celebrity. You cannot just be running into me like that, man. I was looking for something and not watching where I was going. No kidding! Jeez, dude. I'm gonna sue you. Because this is America and everybody sues everybody. Well, you are. You're the Mario. You, no kidding. Stash and overalls gave it away, did it? Um, I'm normally a letter perfect postman. What does that mean, letter perfect? But I'm having a bit of trouble with a lost letter. Okay, remember that? He says, a lost letter. A. Singular. Just keep that in mind, okay? Just keep that in mind. If you happen to stumble upon a letter anywhere around here, please tell me, alright? My job could depend on it. I'll be searching this area thoroughly for a while. Yeah, he's gonna sit here for a while, so... But I guess if we find a letter, we'll bring it back to him. Just be nice. Alright, so we're gonna continue through... It's probably one of my least favorite areas in this whole game, honestly. For various reasons. Not the least of which is it's annoying enemies. Which we'll show right now. Gumbario, what the crap are these things? This is a Monte Mole. Monte Moles are rock throwing moles, big time mischief makers. Max XP 3, attack power 2, defense power 0. Ugh, they have kind of they have kind of scary looking faces. I was I don't know why it was weird to sound. They're pretty weak, though. Maybe they wear sunglasses because they have really sensitive eyes. Or maybe they're just hip. I'm gonna go with the eyes thing. Alright, so let's take these things out real quick. But no, this this particular area of the game, I don't know if I'd call it my least favorite area, but it, it's it's on up there. Man, I still cannot do an Ash Command to save my life. I swear I'm much better at this, I promise. But no, uh... It's just a very annoying area. Luckily enough, it's actually pretty short, so we don't have to worry about it too much. Four freaking star points. Even, like... Oh, yeah, level up. Yay! Uh, we did HP last time. Let's do FP. Even though we're in a new area, the enemies still don't give you a whole lot of experience. But, yeah. Uh, those Monty Balls actually aren't even the annoying thing I'm talking about. Sleepy sheep. We have, like, five of those, don't we? Jeez. Block. Destroy it. It's a blue diglet! Holy crap! What do you got to say, blue diglet? Wackoo! I'm wacka! Just another picture perfect day atop Mount Rugged. Yeah, speak for yourself, dude. I hate this place. The sunshine, the fresh air, so refreshing. Wackadoo! I'm a whack it with a hammer. <laughs> Wackow! Don't hit me! Yeah, you go underground, you diglet. You got the Wackus Bump. A Wacka Bump from Mount Rugged restores 25 HP and 25 FP. More HP and FP than we actually have. Very good healing item. Probably second best in the game that you can get just outright. Without having to do anything special. Uh, but, there is a catch. It is, I'll call it limited use. There are a limited number of them in the game. You can only get them by whacking the, uh, the Wacka there. Hitting the Diglet with your hammer, as it were. That's the only way you can get them, and uh, you can only get so many from him, and it's not very many. I don't remember how, how many exactly. Off the top of my head, less than 10, because I remember actually, uh, the first time I ever played through this game, there was a particular fight, which we'll get to much later, that uh, I had so much trouble on. I died on it multiple, multiple times, and uh, there's nothing up there. And get out of the way. That's the other enemy I'm talking about. We'll, we'll get to him in a minute. But I was having so much trouble with this fight, and I remember that thing, so I just went there and got all of them I could. And I ended up using most of them, too. 
So you remember he said one letter. He said a letter. And we've already found two. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay, these are... The, these are the enemies that make this place so annoying. Change member to Goombario. This, watch this. Watch this. Hammer. Completely... Nothing. Nothing. Not a scratch. Alright, Goombario. Identify these things. Dude, why can I not be defensive at all? You have to say, Gumbario. This is a cleft. Clefts are pretty strong, so you'd better be careful. Max XP 2, attack power 2, defense power 2. two, 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 two. Their specialty is pretending to be rocks, so watch your step on the mountain. You'll get hurt if you jump on the, on the spikes on their heads. You know, there's courage in running away sometimes. He's not lying. Uh, I'm gonna run away. I, don't, I swear I don't run away in RPGs in general very often, much less Paper Mario, but you're just not prepared to fight these things right now. Bombette can hurt them, but even, I mean, the only way she can hurt them is with her special attack, which takes up so much FP, and it's just not quite worth it, so, and just in case, I am gonna... The only easy way you can beat them, and it's kind of hard to do, is that. <laughs> if you can do that, they're not that bad. But, even then, you may get in the fight and there's more than one of them, so, yeah. You can get, you, if you come across one that you just can't get by and you have to fight it, I would highly suggest just trying to hit it with Bombette to start the battle. That way you don't waste your FP. Man, yeah, it, it, why do I keep saying but yeah, but yeah, but yeah, but yeah. It's, it's, it's annoying. It's very annoying. I don't care, coins. I don't care about you. Woo! Star piece. Yay! I love me some star pieces. <laughs> I don't know what voice that was. I'm not sitting there running. Freaking dash. Alright. Ready for the fun? <laughs> We're probably almost halfway through this area already. It's not long, it, luckily, but it's just really annoying. Mostly because of the enemies. Oh, really? Mmm. Mmm. Mushroom. We need that. Uh. Okay. Oh, we're gonna get rid of the, duh, the dried shroom. That thing's useless. Well, practically useless. No, go away. I really do not feel like fighting these things. Uh, if you can't, it's kind of hard to tell, but there's actually a little secret passage up here, which we'll take now. Get a little treasure chest! Yay! You got the damage dodge badge. If you do the Ash Command, decreases Mario damage by one. Very handy. And we do not have BP for that right now, unfortunately. How much does that actually take? Three? Uh, next level up, when I do BP, I'm probably going to put that on, because that, that is a very, very useful badge. Very useful. Crap, why did I do that? That was actually pretty lucky because there's only one of them in there. So, yeah. That one you can survive. But, like I said, Bombette is the only way to hurt those things. And if you run out of FP in the middle of a fight, well, well. <laughs> Too bad for you, friend. No! I wish you could do it in, uh, I know in Thousand Year Door you can actually spin dash it. I kind of just realized that. Those things uh, only give you three star piece or three star points. That's kind of crappy <laughs> for all the work you put into those things. But yeah, Bamet's the only way you can. Why I keep saying, but yeah, Bamet is the only person, uh, only thing that can actually do damage to those right now. So, all right. So, yet another letter. I swear that that dude. What kind of postman are you? No. Ah, oh, really? Right. We're actually getting pretty low on health, so I'm going to. Uh, Use an egg. Uh, we'll use the egg. That egg that I got out of the bush at the very beginning of the episode, that's actually respawnable. It'll respawn every time you go in the area. So if we need another one for whatever reason, then we we'll just get that one again. Oh, <sighs> no, go away. Go away. Alright, so I think we've gotten all the letters now. So let's go talk to, uh, Paracoopa Troopa thing, person, and see what our reward is. We don't need a reward. We're a hero. Heroes don't need rewards. What am I talking about? Although I do love money. Yes. Uh, first thing, let's heal up. Yeah, 
Yeah, there we go. I guess I really didn't have to use that egg, but better safe than sorry. Oh, that's one. Ah, oh, thanks for finding it. I'm so relieved. Uh, actually, I'm also looking for two other letters I may have lost. It wasn't my fault, really. If you found them, could you... Ah, oh, thank you so much. I didn't say anything. You didn't let me answer. Eh, here's your damn letters. There we go. That's one of the ones I dropped by accident. Yeah, he, he keeps putting by accident in there. Of course, there's still one more letter left. If at all possible, could you please find it too? Really? I'm really scaring this area down here. You mean all nine feet you've been flying back and forth of? Yeah. Jackass. Last letter, you found it. Now I've got all the letters I've lost today. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. You're a lifesaver. I wish there was some way I could repay you for your help. Actually, to be honest, I haven't just lost letters on Mountain Rocket. You don't say. You know, I could have guessed, honestly. You seem to be quite the, uh... Well, flying klutz, honestly. Do you think you could keep an eye out during your travels? In return, I would offer you whatever help I can. No. Alright. Oh, praise the stars. I wasn't looking forward to having to find those letters all by myself. No, sir. I'll do my very best to help. You shall not regret this. I probably will. Barricary. That was her, uh, her name. Its name? Is that her? It may be her. Barricary joined your party. Press down to have him... No, it's him. Him carry Mario and fly for a short time. He can carry Mario over short gaps that he couldn't jump across by himself. While in battle, he can attack with skydive or smash an enemy using his shell shot, shell, shell shot ability. Now onward! Oh, but hey, by the way, if you want to deliver a letter to someone, just speak to that person. I have to be next to you at the time for it to work, though. Keep it in mind, alright? Yes. Because I keep all my friends in my pocket, in case I haven't pointed that out yet. It's kind of a weird part of this game. Whenever you don't have a companion out, they're just going to chill in your pocket. It's kind of like a party in there, honestly. There's chips and dip. Maybe a stripper. <laughs> Where the hell was I going with that? Alright, I'll show, uh... Oh, damn it. I'll show a uh, paracarry real quick in a fight. Uh, she has he. Excuse me. Her name's Carrie, man. That's that's totally it. well. I guess it could be. It could be a guy's name too. Skydive and shell shot. Shell shot is a very strong move, and I'll I'll demonstrate it. Does five right off the bat, and uh, it actually gets even stronger as you go. But yeah, five damage right now is a lot. It's more than anything Mario himself can actually do. Yeah, I actually did an action command. Actually did an action command. That's, that's... I don't know why. That could be easily turned into a tongue twister. Four star points! Yay! <laughs> uh, Alright. Come on, come on, come on. Uh, there, before we actually exit this, there's a little bit of backtracking we can do to get some items like that one up there. That we're gonna do real quick. Show her special or his special. I'm gonna damn it. And then set my ways. I'm gonna start calling it a female again. Uh, she may not make that. Oh, nope, she did. Okay. He. Damn it. Why don't you do You got the quake hammer badge. Lightly damage all enemies on the ground and ceiling. That will. <laughs> Can't believe I actually made that jump like that. Not only did I not damage it anymore, I hit it, but. <sighs> okay. What was I saying before? I don't even know. Something about Paracarry and blob something. Yeah. Okay. Gotta get past this. Damn it. Run like a coward! <laughs> Alright. So we're gonna come over here real quick and... Talk to the... Oh yeah, now I remember what I was saying. Uh, we're gonna tie a few other things up here on Mount Rug before we move on. Huh. You're talking to me. I don't see anyone else here. Alright. You are talking to me. It's been a long while since I first came here from my home in Flower Fields. But you're still the very first person to speak a word to me. Nobody ever notices me. The few people I actually see just think I'm blooming. Ugh. <laughs> I love a good conversation. Here, take this as thanks. This is a precious seed. Keep it well and remember me. You got the magical seed. A seed! Have it planted in the flower garden in Toad Town. Yeah. Please grow my seed with care. It'll help you one day. So it's gonna actually be a while before we use that thing, but it is very important, so... Unless you want to backtrack all the way over, all the way back to this annoying place, then I suggest picking it up now while you have the chance. No! Go away. <laughs> Nobody loves you! Nobody loves you, Cleft. You're an unwanted... 
nothing. <laughs> we got just one or two more. Th or actually, I think only one thing we can. One other thing we can pick up now that we have Paracarry here. And I'm picking up now because I really just do not want to backtrack through this area. Nope. <laughs> I am the master. I was totally going to say I am the master dodger right before that thing actually came up and hit me. Because that's that's just the way things are. Star piece. All that way for a star piece. No! Go away. Alright. Let's see if we can get through here without actually running into these fools. These foolish fools of fooldom. Come, come, get, get out of the way. No! Haha, <laughs> you can't reach me. Cause you're a cliff, and you're vertically challenged. Whew. I was hoping I, I wasn't actually sure if they could hit me in that little cutscene or not. Whew. All right, so now we've got those things, we can actually progress and uh, get the crap out of this stupid area. Like I said, it's not a long area. Luckily, there are actually as annoying parts in this game that are much longer. In fact, there's one level in particular that the entire level to me is beautiful, but annoying. So, be looking forward to that. So now we have pair carrier, we can cross over here with this bridge is broken, and... Ooh. That bird has severe balding problems. It's just And it's watching me! You're creepy, dude! I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave you alone. What? Hey there! Hold up a sec, partner! Just to darn me. <laughs> I'm laughing because I can actually just use my regular accent and not have to extenuate anything. <laughs> uh, what did you just pull out of your pocket? Yep, very similar. You look a lot like this fella Mario's on Bowser's Wanted poster. Now give, what's your name, boy? Alright, so should we be honest? Let's uh, tell him I'm a princess. I'm a pretty princess. No, I'm Luigi. That's who I am. Hmm, well, Luigi, eh, pod? You do look like this dude. Well, you're not Mario, I guess. I reckon you can pass. Cool. <laughs> I didn't know that would actually happen, actually. I've usually just said Princess Peach, because I'm like that. Huh. Well, if you say Mario or Princess Peach, she actually fights you. Um, so... Can I trigger that fight with him again? Because I kind of need the star points. You coming, buddy? Yeah. No. We're done. Okay. Huh. So... <laughs> kind of skipped that fight. Hmm. Oh, well. We'll make up for it. So we're finally leaving this place. Random water tower. Woo, he'll block too. But yeah, that would have been a boss fight if you answer anything but Luigi. So, just so you're aware. Alright, so we're going to cut it there. I do thank you for joining me today. My name is John Johnson. If you like this video, then please, you know, give me a, a little shout out in the comments. Just tell me, hey, goo vid, something like that. I, I don't know. Don't do that. <laughs> I do like it when people comment and like and stuff like that, but I'm not going to beg for it. If you like it, like it. If you don't, don't. There, there you go. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.